Hey guys, Dan Heilman here. We're back with another Magnum Quest video. Uh, there was some very cool changes to the guild boss, um, specifically the puppet corpse. Um, I'll show you the changes. Uh, they're very awesome. Before it was very hard to get loot because if you didn't kill each boss, like, so before, once you finish the first boss, got him all the way over on his hatred bar, you'd move to the second boss and then continue all the hatred, move to the third, etc. If you weren't online and you missed attacking one of those bosses, you would lose out on all of the chests from that boss. So now what they did is they allow you to attack any of these bosses here. So, uh, and there's also, they added these quests here. So if you see, they added quests for every single one of these bosses here with, with different amounts of loot you can do here. Uh, you can see, you have to do quite a lot of damage to get some of these, you know. <laughs> Hatred to 60 in a single battle is pretty rough. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically just clear all of these bosses. Uh, you get three attempts, and um, for 50 shards, you can get an additional attempt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and, and clear all these bosses, get all these quests, and then eventually I'm gonna be working on my boss teams. Um, I have not focused a lot of my time on on boss killing teams I've been mostly focused on campaign progression um, because you know a lot of it depends on your campaign progression so okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna attack one of these bosses I'll show you how it works so you can see I'm trying to get to hatred um, 60 in a single battle I will probably get I don't know let's see what we did uh, last time here oh that's the overall leaderboard I did it doesn't tell you how much hatred. Okay, never mind. I did 1.7 million damage. 17 million damage. Okay, so let's try the second boss. I'll show you the team I use. And oh, they have quick battle as well. That's interesting. How does quick battle work? Okay, so that's that's what I thought. Okay, so another thing they added is after you challenge the boss, you can hit quick battle. And I think it will just use your same team and see how much damage and just basically give you a free uh, another attempt not a free attempt but another attempt all right let's challenge the second one here and let's see what we do um don't know if i need the extra healer i guess i could put harry in there I really need to Evo Harry up a little bit higher. I need a couple stars on him. I need just some food and I can, I have other copies of him. So I need to work on him. Uh, he gives good boss buffs, but I think I will probably need a healer. So I will throw my healer in. Yeah, we'll just use this team for now. Okay, we'll see how we do with this team. Again, I gotta build up boss teams for this uh, that are specific for these bosses here, but I just haven't uh, got around to doing it. I think this is the hatred in the top left. I'm not sure. You can see he's focusing my Ares, which is very nice, because Ares has a lot of lifesteal. Um, so that's good that he's attacking him. He also has a lot of stats, because he is... Uh, six star? Six star, I think? Yeah, six star. Some really good damage. We'll look at the damage breakdown when we're done with this as well. Alright, 20 more seconds. I don't know that I need a healer in here. Uh, <laughs> because I'm really not taking a lot of damage. He basically focused on Ares the entire time. All right, so Hatred to 20. I did uh, 15 million damage. I definitely did not need a healer for that fight. Uh, and you can see now I completed some of these quests. So I got Hatred to 20. So I actually got another copy of Rickers, which is pretty cool. Um, for this one, who did we get? For this one, we got... Yeah, we got Winston. 
Win Winston. Winden. <laughs> we got Winden. Let's see who uh let's see what all the bosses give us for units. Alright, so this one only gives us Monroe. Um I haven't really used Monroe very much. Let's look about this one. Okay. I actually, uh, Julian is growing on me, for sure. So, you get a free copy of Julian. He's pretty cool. Um, you know, when he dies, he basically goes back to half health and, um, has a lot of lifesteal in his kit. So, he's a decent tank, a decent, uh, frontline unit. So, okay, let's collect all our, uh, goodies here. Did I already do that? Let's collect our goodies. And we'll do one more boss. Okay. Uh, we will do this boss now. Let's hit challenge, and I am going to pull the healer out, and I'll put her in. All right, this should give me some more ultimates and some more damage, because she gets a lot of uh, energy regen for the team. All right, again, he's attacking Ares, which is pretty cool. Uh, Ares is uh, pretty tanky, and he's got the immune to death, and he's got lifesteal, and yeah, we got Sir in here to do a small amount of heals as well. And surprisingly, I'm still using Gaia, but she has uh, her own built-in lifesteal and, uh, you know, decent single target damage. Not the best. I need, um... I definitely got to build up some single target boss nukers uh, in my team. I don't have anyone built up. Maybe like Fang. Uh, who else is good? Fang is definitely one of the ones that comes to mind for good uh, boss damage dealers. So eventually I got to build him up. Alright, so we're at 20 hatred, 21. I think that's a hatred. We'll check after this. 21. 22. 23. Yep, 23 hatred. Okay, so that was the hatred on the left-hand side. I did 24 million damage with this team. Uh, so this team fared a little bit better. Um, I didn't need the healer in the other team there. So, okay, let's see what we got. Get some more rewards here. Some solid rewards they added here. So definitely work on doing these. Um, you know, this is all free stuff here. Once once we get to a little bit better teams. Damn, dude, 60 in a single battle. You get the dragon summons. That's very cool. All right, so you get a lot of the stuff here. Um, you guys get the point. They added a bunch of quality of life changes to the Puppet Corpse. They added more rewards. You even get gold heroes for it. So definitely something that you should focus on doing if you don't already do this game mode. Okay, that's it for the video. Just a quick one today. I just wanted to show you all the changes. They made a lot of very nice quality of life changes and I'm happy they made them uh, because before it was quite hard to get rewards, you know, if, if you weren't online all the time, so. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Go down there, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and have a great day, everyone. See you guys. I'll be posting more Magnum Quest, um, Awaken Chaos Era, and maybe some Rage of Destiny videos. I'm not posting quite as many of those now. Um, but yeah, if you like those games, sub to the channel. I might even post some uh, Girl Cafe Gun videos. I've been playing that uh, instead of Rage of Destiny lately, and I've actually been having a blast with it. So, all right, see you guys. Have a great one.